My biggest fear is wasting my life away. I'm scared that one day I'll wake up and realize that I've spent years doing nothing that was truly meaningful to me. I'm scared to realize, to see that all my energy has been put into things that are worthless in the end. I'm scared to come to the conclusion that I've worked and I fed other people's lives instead of living my own, and there's no time left. Last summer, I participated in a summer course while I was in New York, and I studied journalism there. So I came about many students who seemed extremely good in their field, whether it was art, science, music, drama. There were people who seemed to have it all figured out. It was genius. There were geniuses and prodigies and artists. Now, I was probably very impressionable, but I had this growing feeling inside. Just to give a little backstory, as I entered high school that same year, I had started to experience what a lot of people around my age are experiencing right now. And it's, it's a pressure, a fear of the future. It rhymes. It's also something that really frightens me. What did I want to do? Who did I want to be? So I started to question myself. Lenny, what are you good at? Look around, look at what you could accomplish if just every day you were making the right choices. We all say we have big dreams and aspirations, but how much effort do we really put in? How much in our everyday lives are we truly dedicated to reaching our goals? It really hit me because in a year, a month, a week, a day, what do we end up achieving? So as I started to challenge my habits, I, I felt that something was sitting next to me and it was fear. I was scared because I was scared of failing. I was scared of failure because success stories are so common these days. It's like advertising, it's everywhere. From famous cats playing piano to six-year-old geniuses or 15-year-old mansion owners or CEOs, we see everything. And depending on your notion of success, seeing such things can be, one, irritating, because like, six-year-old geniuses, like, okay. Um, or motivating, or maybe paralyzing. But after witnessing so much intelligence around me and creativity and passion, I was much more motivated than I was paralyzed. So here's what I did. I came back, I enjoyed the rest of my vacation, and I wrote a letter to myself. In that letter, I let run my emotions, but I also detailed some things I liked about myself and some things I did not like as much. In doing so, I began to think about ways to improve, and I learned to be appreciative and proud of the things I already had. After doing that, I wrote about things I wanted to focus on, things I wanted to explore. So I had a clear visual idea in my head of the things I wanted to do, because there was something I was really excited for. If I start now, what could happen? So I researched ways I could better implement the habits I wanted to catch. And so during a period of multiple months, month because I got distracted in the process, obviously, um, I use trial and error to find a better and efficient way of working, of concentrating, because I knew that if I wanted to change, if I wanted to reach that goal, I needed to eliminate distractions. So during those, this period of time, I found three key elements. The first one is the environment. So the environment in which you work is so important because it helps you concentrate. Now, because I didn't think that the space I worked in affected my level of concentration, I used to try and work in the messiest room. So I created this sketch so you guys could get a better grasp of what it is like to work in my messy room. <sighs> typing, 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 typing. Oh, I probably need to clean my room for absolutely no reason. Procrastinating. Um, I probably need to take something to eat so like I have the energy 
to do this training score. I also probably need music while I clean up the mess that also metaphorically represents my life. So, clear mind, clear space. It isn't entirely true because there are many components to optimum efficiency. You can't just clean up your space and have a clear mind. But the simple step of clearing up my space, it helped me concentrate because your brain has less to worry about. It helps your brain solely concentrate on whatever it is you're working on. So I talked about the physical space, but now they obviously we have the digital space. So I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, so there was a time where like most teenagers, most students today, I was on my phone a lot. So my mom told me continuously, Lenny, next week you won't even remember half of what you saw today on that thing. And she said that in a jokey way-ish. Um, so I, I said, mom, it's fine, you don't understand. You're too old. <laughs> and so I, I spend a lot of time on my phone. Since I spent so much time on it, I, I realized that what she was telling me was true. Over time, her words took meaning, and I realized that I regret now, as I look back, I regret spending so much time on it because I was wasting more time than making use of it. You see, as human beings, we need balance. Being on my phone so often, it, it really distracted me. I couldn't work as I wanted to. And so I began to think. And here's what I, I thought. I was like... I need to change. I need to get rid of this because as I was doing this research, instead of clicking on relevant articles, I, I clicked on this guy who could drink a gallon of water under one minute. Instead of working on this paper, I clicked on this, instead of clicking on this explanatory video, I clicked on this tutorial about making a good pizza. Why? The second thing I learned is the mindset. Sorry, the second thing I learned is the power of taking break. A study made by UC Irvine um, describes that it takes about 23 minutes and 15 seconds to get back to work after getting distracted. Now, I read that, I was like, huh, I take longer than that, much longer. But that's besides the point. Um, I learned that after taking planned and intentional breaks, I could better focus on what I needed to do because I was overall feeling more refreshed and proud to have honored my designated period of time. When working, take small breaks because multiple studies, like the research conducted by the University of Southern California, says that it takes that when you're, when you're in downtime, your brain uses this time to make important connections and overall it shapes your identity. So take breaks. The last thing I learned, the last and most important thing I learned is mindset. If you're not in the right mindset, you will get distracted. You will get distracted because there are so many things to do. I learned that I can get distracted with something as stupid as a spoon. Now, it's alarming, but if you're not in the right mindset, then all the things I've cited earlier will not matter one bit. You need to do what you have to do and focus on it. I learned that once you're working, you need to find better ways to be more productive. And as I, as I did this research, I found that the mindset was so important because positivity, it influences your way of working. When you're positive, the outcome will most likely 
be positive, and I sound really optimistic, but even if the outcome isn't, the, most, the, the nicest thing you can do for yourself is to think positively. So I'm gonna end on this. On, on this journey to self-discovery, I read one of Mark Manson's texts which said that we were eventually inconsequential cosmic dust bumping and milling about on a tiny blue speck being the world, that we invent our purpose, we are nothing. That's a bummer. So when I read that, I, I was feeling kind of depressed, to be honest, but I learned something here. It's that we create meaning. And my goal was to avoid being lost in this fast-paced world and distracted because overall it's my greatest fear to be lost and not having found what I wanted to do. Because every day we choose, every day I choose what I do, it, in, it will influence my future. So do what you have to do because it will matter. Tell, you, tell yourself that it will pay off because it will. Thank you.